Example, Professor Norbert of Vienna. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir. As our century comes to a close, I would like to describe my country's vision of what the next century can offer. And I would like to invite you to join us as friends and as partners in trying to build that future. A hop. There's a link between Tsinghua University. In some ways, it would be hard to find two countries more different from one another than my country and yours. The United States prides itself on its newness. We are a young country, especially by your standards. We value individuality more than consensus. We value history as you do. In our case, we value it not so much as a blueprint to follow or replicate, but rather as a way to learn how we can do better. Indeed, we have focused primarily on the future ever since we were founded 220 years ago. So we're very different in many ways. And yet now, at the dawn of a new era in world history, as we look toward the horizon of a new millennium, I believe that our two nations are destined to work together in leading the way to a peaceful and prosperous future. Visit our campus during the visit. We do deeply believe in the transforming power of vision coupled with a commitment to that vision. And our vision is that we, the United States and China, as friends and partners, will share a prosperous and peaceful future, a future of free minds and free markets sustained by a new consensus on protecting our environment and nurtured by justice, fair play, and a deepening sense of our responsibilities toward one another as human beings. In the same way, we believe that economic freedom and political freedom are part of an interlinked system 